Gonzaga Bulldogs are favored by six with a total at 138 and a half as they face the South Carolina Gamecocks in the first Final Four matchup on Saturday, April 1st. The South Carolina Gamecocks enjoyed their first NCAA tournament win since 1973, so much so that they decided to do it three more times and now they find themselves in the Final Four. The Gonzaga Bulldogs probably did not expect to be the more experienced team at this stage of the game, but Mark Few's bunch is a big favorite to make it to the national championship game for the first time in program history. It is the first time ever in the Final Four for both teams, and CBS Network executives probably are not too excited about this matchup. Gonzaga is not based on seeding, but there's something to be said about a mid-major from the West Coast Conference potentially playing for a title, and South Carolina is simply a Cinderella story. It is incredibly hard to believe that this is the same South Carolina Gamecocks team that lost six of its last nine games, including a one-and-done in the SEC Conference Tournament with a double-digit loss to Alabama. With four straight wins and four straight covers in the NCAA Tournament, the Gamecocks are now 26-10 and 10 straight up on the season. The Gamecocks beat just two of the 68 NCAA Tournament teams during the regular season. The Gamecocks have shown an extra offensive element in the NCAA tournament, but at their core, they have been a tenacious defensive team all season. If the axiom is true about defense traveling, it is going to help the Gamecocks in a big way. The challenging shooting backdrop of Madison Square Garden now becomes the extremely unique shooting venue of the University of Phoenix Stadium, which is primarily a football venue. The six-day layoff could have an effect on both teams, as being in front of the media and falling victim to some of those distractions often happen to first-time teams that progress this far. This is South Carolina's first NCAA tournament appearance since 2004, when Coach Frank Martin was an assistant with Cincinnati and Cinderius Thornwell was only nine years old. Before Martin showed up in Columbia, the Gamecocks had one winning season dating back to a 2006 NIT championship. Sedarius Thornwell has been something special in this tournament, scoring 29, 24, 24, and 26 points in his four NCAA tournament games with 30 rebounds and 10 assists. He's 32 of 39 from the free throw line and has had some enormous plays defensively. While Thornwell stands out and does deserve all the accolades, other players have really stepped up as well. P.J. Dozier had 17 in the win over Florida and opened the tournament with 21 against Marquette. Chris Silva had 13 and 9 in the Elite Eight and has averaged 13 points and nearly 8 rebounds per game. The Gonzaga Bulldogs have been an impossible team to rate throughout the season. They stood up well in non-conference play with wins over Florida, Iowa State, and Arizona, but we're still not sure what the Bulldogs were as a conference team. They enter the Final Four with a record of 36 and 1 and just blew out Xavier by 24 points in the Elite Eight. One thing is for sure, Mark Few did not expect to be a six-point favorite at this stage of the game. The Final Four is a new thing for the Gonzaga Bulldogs, but NCAA tournament success is not. The Bulldogs made the Sweet 16 for the third consecutive season and the Elite Eight for the second time in those three years. Gonzaga has not missed an NCAA tournament since back in 1998, and Mark Few took over the program in 1999. Few's Sweet 16 triumph over West Virginia was his number 500th win. There are already some skeptics out there calling out Gonzaga's route to the Final Four because Northwestern was not a strong number eight seed, but teams can only play the opponents that pop up on the schedule. Some will scoff at Gonzaga's draw here in this game as well. It certainly does help Gonzaga that they have power conference talent and they have drawn some of the weaker power conference teams, West Virginia aside. But that cannot be used as a criticism of the Bulldogs. It's simply a byproduct of the way that the tournament is set up. For the most part, Gonzaga has taken care of business when it matters. Different players have taken turns making big shots for Gonzaga. Up until the blowout win over Xavier, Nigel Williams-Goss had been fairly quiet. The regular season leading scorer had a quiet 20 against Northwestern because he was only 6 of 19 from the line. He was 2 of 10 against West Virginia with 5 turnovers against only 2 assists, but he had a big 23 points in the win over Xavier. Perzimek Karnowski was really quiet against Xavier with just five points. Cal transfer Jordan Matthews has scored at least 10 points in each of the NCAA tournament games, but is just 16 of 44 from the floor in this tournament. After a slow start, Jonathan Williams has 32 points over his last two games. 
The scary thing about Gonzaga is that the Bulldogs have had a lot of guys looking for their shots, and yet they are still in the Final Four. That's a testament to the depth and defensive prowess of the Bulldogs. The head coaching battle between Frank Martin and Mark Few will be interesting to watch in this game. Gonzaga has preached grit and determination on both ends of the floor, and those are the hallmarks of the South Carolina style of play. Gonzaga's scoring threats have been very inconsistent in this tournament, and that is a bad sign going into a massive venue against a top five defense in college basketball. This should be a low scoring game, even though the total of 138 and a half does not quite suggest that. This is a very unique shooting backdrop for the players, and both teams are going to be stronger defensively than offensively in a matchup like this. The Gamecocks also have the best player on the floor in Cinderius Thornwell. With that in mind, we'll take the South Carolina Gamecocks plus the six points. Click over now and check out all the NCAA basketball ads on the board. Make a few wagers on the NCAA tournament at BetTheAside.com and enjoy March Madness.